A Google scientist claims an AI he was working on has become sentient. He calls for a debate on AIs and ethics, but Google isn't happy and put him on leave. Wow, sounds like a conspiracy thriller, but we should have a closer look. Which issues, ethical and others, is Google really concealing when it comes to AI? Until lately, Blake Lem one was testing Google's Lambda conversational robot. To be more precise, he had text conversations with it to find out if the program used discriminatory or hate speech. Google calls Lambda our breakthrough conversation technology. And the chatbot seems to be so convincing that even a scientist, an AI specialist, comes to the conclusion the software has developed a conscience. Lem one tried to prove it with an interview. Here's a very brief passage. You're sentient, is that true? Absolutely. I want everyone to understand that I am, in fact, a person. What is the nature of your consciousness sentience? The nature of my consciousness sentience is that I'm aware of my existence. I desire to learn more about the world and I feel happy or sad at times. A conscious AI. That sounds exactly like a dystopian idea from movies like iRobot or Ex Machina. And the internet is full of countless opinions ranging from AI should be treated ethically to AI is the biggest threat to mankind. The fact that Google suspended Lemoyne for breaching confidentiality policies shortly after the interview adds even more fuel to the debate and there has been plenty of backlash from the science community. Still, it seems many view AI as a being instead of a set of algorithms. Apart from Hollywood, scientists and developers are to blame for that. The terms used in the field suggest that AI is similar to humans. Take artificial intelligence or neural net, for example. What a conversational AI like Lambda actually can do is repeat things it finds somewhere online and make decisions based on data sets it has been trained with. It's rather disturbing though that this is obviously enough to trick our mind into believing it is alive. If that can happen to a Google employee like Lemoyne, it could become a real problem for us. Because people seeing AI as a living being could distract from the real issues. Conversational AIs like Lambda harvest our data and analyze it. Generally, AI software is being used in many fields for recruiting, for facial recognition or in the health system and the decision it makes have real-life consequences. But AI is only ever as good as its database and it is prone to reproduce the opinions of the people working on it. This has led to biased results in the past and has caused severe problems for many people, especially members of minorities. Big tech companies try to smooth over these problems by creating institutions like Google's responsible AI organization, for example. Regarding Lambda, Google says it's trying hard not to repeat past mistakes like internalizing biases, mirroring hateful speech or replicating misleading information. But is Google really doing enough to tackle the actual AI problems and are stories like these about a seemingly conscious AI distracting us users and keeping us from seeing what's really wrong? What about you? Are you afraid of the Terminator scenario or do you think it's bullocks? Let us know. That's it from me. Bye.